Hi guys, I just wanted to say hi really because I feel like it hasn't, I haven't made a personal chatty video for ages. Um, it'd be nice to hear what you guys are up to. Um, it's now, I think it's January the 17th, 2018. So I spent my Christmas pretty much tutoring the whole way through mock exams. Obviously it's been really, really busy. So I've just been teaching people all day, every day, um, which is really cool, but I am fairly tired and it's actually only January and I normally only get this feeling about May time. So I need to find some energy from somewhere. How have you all been? Um, I hope your mocks have been going really well. Um, AQA people, your physics video will be here soon. So look out for that. The content is very similar to the IGCSE and Excel one. So do take a look at that one as well because physics really doesn't vary that much between the exam boards. Yeah, so let's just chat then about A-level options and working out how you're gonna pick. I'll quickly tell you about my choices. Now, I wasn't very kind of, I didn't really think about it enough, I don't think. I think in the end I picked well, but I lived with my, I was brought up by my grandma and she, didn't, she wasn't academic, she didn't really understand the point of university, so I didn't get any encouragement or guidance from her. So I was very much left to my own devices. And because of that, I picked the things which I was good at and the things that I liked. So what that meant was that I was good at the sciences, hopefully, seeing as I've got this channel called Science of Hazel, and maths, so that seemed just a sensible choice. And then IT, because one of my best friends was studying it, and we had such a laugh in GCSE that I just thought it'd be really fun to do it with her in AS. And that wasn't very sensible because literally we did nothing and we just messed around the whole time and we're totally irresponsible. But that was literally why I chose my fourth AS level as being IT. Anyway, so I chose maths because I was good at it. I chose biology and I chose chemistry. Now, I think I started thinking about being a vet when I was about 15. If you don't know, I did my undergrad in veterinary medicine. And because of that, I was very much guided as to which A-level options to take. Because the moment I started looking at veterinary medicine courses at various unis, I had a look and obviously science and maths were very, very important. So that was very easy for me to pick. IT, like I said, was a massive wild card. Probably shouldn't have done it. Not that there's anything wrong with IT, but literally look at how bad my videos are. You would never know that I ever did IT or that I got a certificate for doing really well in IT. I have no clue. I've lost any ability with IT. So that's why you get these really crappy paired back videos. Anyway, so I do recommend, if you are at all science and maths orientated, they are great options. You have to be thinking now about your future. And I'm not saying you've got to know what you want to do for your job. I mean, look at me, am I a vet? No, I've got a cat, I've got no clue about treating her. I take her to the vet. I ask my best friend from uni who's a vet. I don't know anything. But the point is, have a little think about potentially the sorts of things you'd like to do when you're older. And clearly, you need to do some research. If you're thinking about going to university, like me, you need to look at the sorts of subjects that you're required to do, because you don't want to not do chemistry and then suddenly decide that you want to be a doctor and you're like, well, I didn't take chemistry, what a nightmare. So yeah, let your university choices, your university course choices be your guiding hand. Obviously pick subjects which you're good at, it is harder at A-level. It's hard enough to maintain the level, you, the grade you got at GCSE, let alone improve it. So one thing I would say is there's an, I've taught an awful lot of biology people when I was a teacher who took AS Biology because they were struggling, looking around for their final subject, they picked the others and they thought, oh, maybe I was quite good at biology. Mm. So they just decided to take it. No, A-level biology is really hard. You can't really go from getting a B at GCSE to taking it A-level and expecting to maintain that B at A-level unless you work ridiculously hard. You need to be getting at least an A on A-star or a level seven, eight, nine. That is my banana bread, I'll be back in a sec. So going back to what I was saying, don't go picking things like biology as full of subjects. You're gonna to have to actually sit these exams, you're gonna to have to revise for them and you're gonna to have to sit in all the classes. So you can't just be picking something which you randomly think is okay, might be a good idea. You've gotta be passionate about it, okay? So no biologists that shouldn't really be doing it. Another thing I would say is this makes me sound, um, this is just my opinion, but I do think the core academic subjects are always a really good option. And I kind of mean the old fashioned things like English, maths, science, um, obviously geography, Latin, whatever. But core subjects are a really good idea to take. Future employees will look really favorably upon them. So if you're one of those people who's really into, see I don't want anyone to get mad with me, 
but fair enough if you want to be an actress when you're older do take drama but you could always do that in your spare time go to classes and um, do think very carefully about whether you choose it as one of your three or four options I hope no one's offended by that drama is amazing but it is a good idea to get like something like a level maths always looks amazing whatever age you are so yeah really to summarize make sure you're good at the subject that's always helpful because that will make it easier don't feel pressured by friends and family to pick particular options you're the one going to be studying it so you need to be happy with the decision that you're making have a look through some of the specifications see that you're actually interested make sure you're looking at the right exam board see if you like the sorts of things you're going to be taught about so some of the biology courses have an awful lot of plants so make sure you're okay with that because I know a lot of people don't like learning about plants and think about your future and where it's going and whether your subjects will actually help you get to where you want to be in the future and the other thing is just kind of take it seriously now like you're going you've had fun had the last almost five years to like mess around or do whatever it is you want to do but now is the time you do you don't <laughs> If you're ambitious and you want to have a good job, it's important to do well and get good grades. And unless you've got a massive entrepreneurial streak, which means it doesn't matter what grades you get, you're just going to go off and make your own millions off an idea that you've had. But for most of us out there, we're not that creative. So the next few years is a really great opportunity to kind of just show the world what you've got and and that you're you're good and that you can do stuff with it. Anyway, I better go make sure my banana bread isn't burnt to a cinder. I'll be back soon with my AQA physics video and I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I know it's an awful time of year because you're just basically building up and up to your GCSEs, but I know you can all do it. Anyway, see you soon guys, bye.